Good morning, everybody. Patty Ann here. Hey, um, several of you have asked me questions on how do you do the knockout in Silhouette Studio. Um, if you have a Silhouette machine, you don't have to buy the Business Edition to do this. But if you only have a Cricut machine and that's what you like to use for cutting, you have to buy the Business Edition of Silhouette Studio, which is under $60. If you use my link below, um, you can get it for a certain price and then a little text box should show up in the lower left hand corner where you can save an additional 10%. If you go to the Silhouette store, on the other hand, you know, to their website, it'll cost you $99.99 .99, I think it is because that's what I paid until I found out about this link that I'm giving to you here. So anyway, let me show you how quick and easy it is to do a beautiful, beautiful um, knockout text with Silhouette Studio. And again, when you purchase Silhouette Studio Business Edition, it's just a one-time charge. You download a program onto your machine. You don't need to have the internet open to use it. Uh, the only time you'd need the internet is when you want to go from your computer to Cricut Design Space, since Cricut Design Space is, you know, um, computer-based or cloud-based. <clears throat> so, let me just start this real quick. It'll just take a few moments. I come over here to the left to the text tool, click on it, and I'm going to come over here and I'll type in the word rice. This is my sister and her husband. And I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to highlight this and come over to this area over on the right because this is the text style panel. And I'm going to change it to impact, which is a um, font I have on my computer and you probably do too if you have a Windows computer but any font would work and you can leave it just like this if you want to or just like in um, design space you can come down here to where it says line spacing and change the line spacing now there's a slider bar here oops not line spacing there's not two lines letter spacing or character spacing see I can just move them like that with this little slider and let's just leave them like that and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write in Jean and Dean. That's my sister and her husband. So I'm going to type in Jean and Dean. And I'm not going to bother using the special characters right now because this is just a quick demo to show you how to do this. So I'm going to guess I'll pick uh, Alex Brush Text. Whoops, I have it all in caps and I don't want that. Let me fix that. So I got to go back to the um, text editing. Let me move this over. And I'll come to the end and slide this like this. And I'm going to retype this in without my caps lock being on. Gene and Dean. Okay, there we go. All right. So now that I've selected this, notice one thing about this text. Do you see how it comes in all hooked together already? The only thing I should do to this is weld it because, again, these letters are going to cut out individually just like they do in Cricut Design Space. So all I need to go do is go to right click and weld. And now everything is perfectly together. This is going to cut as one piece. This will cut as one piece. The J and the D will be separate, obviously. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and just click and drag and that makes a duplicate. Or I could have, whoopsie, let me get this select arrow, which is up here in the upper left hand corner. And I could have selected all of this and right clicked and said uh, duplicate. But for me, it's just easier to hold down my Alt key and highlight what I want to duplicate. Click on my Alt key on my keyboard and drag and I have another one. So I don't really need that many. So I'm going to delete this one. All right, so now I have two of them. Oops, I didn't want to move that, so let me do this. And let me group this. I'm going to right click, right click and group. Oh, oh I got to get the whole thing. Right click and group. And I think I'll delete this one. Delete and hit the... Uh, click on this one now and hold down my alt key and duplicate that one so they stay exactly the same so the first one all i'm going to do is add the offset to it so i'm going to come over here to the little star and if you look when you hover over it it should say it's the offset panel click on that and then i want an outside offset not an internal one so i'm going to click on offset and notice it already made an offset 
Now, depending on how big I want it to be, I can make all of these letters touch, and I think that's what I'll do. So notice this little scroller here. I can just move it over to the right, and the little offset buttons or place gets bigger. I mean, you can make it any size you like. I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is click off and then click back on to the word Gene and Dean. I no longer need that. I'm going to delete it. And this right here looks perfect, except for, you know what? I don't think I need these cutouts done here. So what I'm going to do is click on this and then come up to Object and Release Compound Path. And that kind of makes it so each one of these pieces is individual as if I was ungrouping it. And then I can select one and hit delete on my keyboard, select another one, hit delete. And I can also click highlight this and come up here to the top and change its color to white so I can see it clearly. All right, and then I'm just going to move it up here on top of the word rice. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this hold down my shift key and select the bubbly stuff. Come over here to my panel where there's a rectangle and a circle and that's the modify panel. Open that and then I just hit subtract. And what that did was it just took that right out of there. So now all I have to do is bring this up here and it is basically done. I can go ahead and group everything if I'd like, right click and group. And then what I would do is go to File, Save As, Save As, Save to my hard drive. And I'll just name this Gene and Dean. So I'm going to change this from Silhouette Studio to SVG and say OK. And then I'll simply come over here into Cricut Design Space. All right, I'm going to do a new project. And I'm going to go to Upload. Upload an image. Browse. And I'm going to browse in my download folder for the file named Gene and Dean. There it is, Gene and Dean, and it's an SVG. <coughs> and there it is both times. I had Mary and Al also done. So let's save this. And I'll upload this. All right, so here it is here. It's all grouped together because of having two different images. So I'll click on this and say ungroup. So there's Mary and Al, and I will grab them and group them. And then hide them. All right, so we're left with Jean and Dean. Whoopsie, I didn't mean to move that one. All right, so as you can see, though, what I can do now is just go to Make It. Okay, this is messed up, right? We don't want that, so can cancel that. So you know what we need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Jean and Dean out of here, and I'm going to attach them so they stay together. And I'm going to grab these and attach them. And now if we go to make it, we have this part and we have this part. And in case I wanted to make this out of a different color. So I could do both of these out of the same color if I want to, just like that. 
So that's it. That shows you how easy it is to do it in Silhouette for our Cricut machines. You do not have to have a Silhouette machine to use Silhouette Studio, but you must have St Silhouette Studio Business Edition that is not free to be able to use the software with our Cricuts. But there's so much you can do. Y'all need to look into the basic edition. Um, it's for free to try, but you won't be able to save things for Cricut. But I recommend you try it. It's a blast. Y'all, we're having so much fun. Join us over at uh, Cutting Up with Patty Ann on Facebook. So thanks for joining me. Hope to see you all over there. Bye-bye.